Hello, everyone, and welcome to another wonderful case study. I've been so much enjoying showing off my like amazing clients to the world and like sharing their stories and their progress. So today we are going to highlight the amazing Kelly and it's showing that it's officially live on Facebook. Yay. So you can say hi as you're seeing us live, as you're like feeling called to join us. You can definitely say hey on the replay as well. And today we're going to talk about how Kelly sold her highest private package ever. Yay. <laughs> and about some of the processes that she went through to like really align with her new rates with selling her highest private package ever. Um, some of the importances of clearing out like your limiting beliefs, being aware of them, muscle testing, like doing the conscious works so that you can truly be in alignment with what you're desiring. Plus, I'm going to do some specials like Theta Healing Downloads to support you guys in aligning with what's really supportive for you right now on your journey, which I love doing. And we're also going to talk about some things that you can do now to transform your life and grow exponentially, especially into like the 2021 energy, because there just feels like there's going to be even more expansion and even more awesomeness in that 2021 energy too. So I'd love it if you could share a little bit about yourself, Kelly, who you are, a little bit of your background. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Laura. So excited for this. You too. <laughs> My name is Kelly Ellerman. I'm a personal stylist and mindset consultant. I help ambitious and high achieving professional women and entrepreneurs uh, feel and feel radiant and confident from the inside out. Uh, yeah. Do a lot of mindset work and uh, been doing this for Officially like a year now, but unofficially mm. for a lot longer than that. So mm. uh, yeah. Yay. Thank you. And for anyone who's joining from Kelly's world, I'm Laura McPhee. I am a joyful goddess, a speaker, healer, and coach. And I love supporting other light workers and coaches and healers and mentors and heart-centered entrepreneurs and really like showing up and shining their light brighter in the world so that they can increase their impact and income and like be living the life of their dreams and sharing their like medicine with the world in the way that only they can. So I love that I've been able to like highlight some of my amazing clients who've gone through my increase your impact and income program. And that's especially what we're going to talk about today. I love that Kelly like started and like jumped right in with the seven week. And then she's like, this is awesome. And I'm going to continue and like went into the three month version. So yeah. we're going to like talk about specifically the seven week because I'm offering the seven week and I'll share a little bit about that towards the end. And we're also going to like flow in the three month because it's also like a journey. It's a container together where it's like, we did the deep dive immersion. She got awesome results. She like made her ROI back in that same time. <laughs> and then she's like, cool, let's like keep going and go deeper and like clear out more things that she has more space to call in the like amazing things that she's co-creating in the world. So I love it. Um, do you want to share a little bit about like where you were before kind of being in like a dry spell before joining the program? Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely in a bit of a confused, stuck place before we started working together. Um, yeah, really, really just confused, not like, no, like feeling like I had a lot of things that I had in like in mind, but not sure how to really kind of put that out there and or the way to do that, I guess, or, or the way to communicate that and uh, which really direction to take with it. There were just so many, so many things happening that I was really confused about. And yeah, definitely dry spell with clients for sure before mm -hmm. I joined the seven week program with you. Right. And yeah. Mm -hmm. I love and it. And yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say? Yeah. And then after um, I did, I did, sign, I did enroll my um, mm -hmm. highest paying client yet. And Yay! so, yeah, <laughs> so that was, um, you know, in the, and so I actually made more than my money back from, from your program. So mm -hmm. that I invested in your program, which just felt so good after, especially like having that dry spell. Yeah, definitely. And I love that you like jumped right in and that that was one of the things that like when we started our conversation, because guys, whenever we do this, it's always like, let's talk about the highlights because we want to like have the like the masculine structure to make sure that we're focused because otherwise we can just go on like tangents about like all <laughs> awesome things in our lives. Um, so I love that you like jumped right in and you were saying like, when I was driving to Colorado, I was listening to Money Blocks and I was doing like Manifesting 101 and those are bonuses that come with the Increase Your Impact and Income program. So 
like she jumped right into the work and do you want to share a little bit about your experiences with those? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know it's, we were so July 1st is kind of when I started this journey with you and yeah, I immediately just <laughs> put the money blocks on and then I did manifesting 101 and just, I mean, both like, and it's so great because I mean, they're bonuses and I have access to them now. And so I'm actually doing them again because it's just so helpful to like, you know, continue, you know, my mind, I feel like was program programmed in such a certain way for so long that it's great to be able to like, I need these refreshers and reminders of like what that clearing feels like, what that, you know, unblocking like towards my abundances and during that money block 101, uh, there are, there were just so many things that, um, you know, I feel like I have a lot of general knowledge about how to do that, but it was, there were a lot of really cool tips in that program, the muscle testing, which I did, right. I've done again, like to say, okay, so now what, right. Like to go back to it. And then like, I had so many, so much, so many more blocks, so much more blocks. So, um, it's been great to go through your, your program and, and clear them and then just create awareness, clearing, create awareness and clearing and, and appreciating like in the manifesting 101, like so many things like you know, I've been, I've done over a year in a row of gratitude appreciation lists and just completed one recently, a year of it. And yet still, yeah. And still yet like, uh, had awareness when I did your program. Right. And to remember to, you know, really feel grateful for, and bless this cup of coffee and water and, and the roof over my head. And they're the, they can be very simple things and to appreciate the clients I already have instead of like such the lack of like, where are the next clients, you know? And like, you know, thank you. Thank you um, for the clients that I have. And, and, um, you know, thank you for bringing 10 more, just, just like her. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And that's like a big thing. And I noticed that a lot of people will like focus on their next school. And I love that I attract high achievers and I'm such a high achiever. So I get it. But it's so important to like steep in that celebration to be like, I'm so grateful for the person who did feel called to work with me, who's already stepped into my world. I'm so grateful for the people who are showing up to my Facebook lives and my webinars yeah. and all the things instead of being like, but I want more. Like I want there to be 50. I want there to be a hundred. And it's like, cool. It's like, thank you universe. I'm so grateful. And I'm even more excited to support even more people and be in that like expansive, open, spacious energy instead of like, but there's not enough and there might not be enough and like forward featuring negative experiences and lack or scarcity into our worlds. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I love you've talked, you talked about that in our seven week call too. And it's like appreciating, right? Like every single person that joins that live, that joins mm-hmm. that workshop or webinar and as if they're sitting in your living room, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And I feel like that's been a thing where social media is like such a blessing because we can impact so many people. And it's also not totally like hitting our brains the same way as like, if you literally every day went to like speak to 30 people in your living room, it's like, or a hundred people in your living room. If like you literally saw their faces, you saw the impact you were having. Cause a lot of people are like lurkers on the internet. They'll like kind of be flies on the wall and they won't necessarily say all these things. And I've had so many experiences that like, I've talked about things for years or like months and months on end. And then like, I'll get someone to screenshot like something that I had posted months ago and be like, this has been something I've just like looked at like so often. And I've like clung to this story. And like, I'm so grateful that you've like shared that vulnerability and all these things. And I'm like, that's months ago. And they've been like watching me every day and doing all these things. And I think that that can sometimes be something that lightworkers get like caught up in, in our heads is like comparing ourselves to others or looking at other people's lanes instead of being like, oh my gosh, I'm following like my soul's work here. And I trust that. And I trust the souls who are being called to it. And like that we have soul contracts to work with those people and that we can be so grateful for the impact that we're having in their worlds, whether or not we know about it right now and whether or not we're ever going to get like a thank you message five years from now being like, I've been watching you for years and this has been so helpful for me. It's like, we get to show up knowing that we're like creating change. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes so, so, so good. I love that. Um, 
and you can even share a little bit about like we were talking some of the conscious tips for like money blocks too because it is like two hours of like downloads of being like clear out the old like let's see what's coming up around like money or saving or spending and all those things and it is really amazing i've had people who've done it for years because i've had it available for years where they come back because you're a different person at your next level and there's another layer of the onion that you get to be at like okay now that i'm here what else am I aware of? What's another thing that is getting triggered now? Because, oh, now that I've cleared off these top layers, I'm more aware of like how my parents viewed money, how my mom had a ton of stress with money, how my dad negatively perceived money. And now that's putting a projection onto like what I visualize money as and all those kind of things. So it's super fun to like go deeper and deeper and deeper into that. And I love that you've already done that. You're like, I like to go deeper. <laughs> and there's also conscious <laughs> pieces too, where it's like, that's helped you shift kind of like paying bills even. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and again, it's like, I've, I do this work, I've been doing this work and yet, right. Like you said, there just continues to be more layers of it. And mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, getting that credit card bill and instead of like, Oh, that again, shoot. And how am I going to pay and blah, 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 or whatever it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, thank you for this bill that allowed me to pick up pizza on Friday night and enjoy it. And it was delicious. And to, my dog food for my dog that he could enjoy and nourishes his body. And I mean, it can be that, that simple gratitude, but instead of right, that negative perspective of like, just being upset about it or frustrated with it. Right. And like building that relationship with money, with, with bills, like bills can be good and happy, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? Mm. And uh, so viewing things, viewing all the things that way, um, the electricity that just, I mean, literally, you know, that keeps me warm in the <laughs> Colorado and Chicago, wherever I am, yeah. you know, and it's um, remembering that instead of the, the dread and the frustration, which is the sometimes the easier, like more sort of like conditioned way that, you know, I mean, ever, I didn't start blessing my bills till probably like a year and a half ago. And so it's still something to like, okay, wait, shift that thought. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, so important. I love that. And like, you did so much like conscious work in these programs. Cause I also give everything as like optional homework. It's like, you don't have to be like a super good girl student. You don't have to do all the things. <laughs> yes. Some people don't do the homework. And <laughs> Yeah, I like get it because I'm like, sometimes I don't feel called to doing specific homework and programs and I get amazing fucking results and I feel like I'm like the top of the class of the people going through it. And there's other things where it's like, yeah, you literally have to like do some of this conscious work to make it work. And I love yeah. how much you showed up to the conscious work and how much you like put it in the group for feedback and like stepped up and were like, now I've done these changes. How's this feel? So do you want to share some of like those aspects that you were like working on throughout the seven week in particular and then and beyond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, having, I mean, just like you said, I am kind of like a, I like to be told sort of what to do. So I yes. mean, even just offering saying like, you can like say what you're going to do for homework every week, which mm. is helpful for me to be accountable in a group of entrepreneurs who are, you know, also going through similar things. Right. And mm -hmm. so, uh, and being accountable for showing up and for what are the things, you know, the sort of conscious action steps that I'm anyway, planning to do. And then we'll see what, mm -hmm. what becomes inspired, but, uh, and then to run it by the group and mm -hmm. yeah, I have a couple different programs right now and, mm -hmm. you know, running those programs through the group is super helpful to get feedback and get clarity and, uh, you know, and through our time together, the seven weeks and then beyond the three months, like mm -hmm. has helped me get to a different level somewhere I was headed, you know, I obviously work with clients on style, which I love mm -hmm. and, you know, in our time together have just really realized how excited and lit up I am by working with clients on their mindset and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah and just helping them shift their perspectives and get to their next levels and what that mm. looks like too and like that to me you know coupled with if they <laughs> you know if, if we're working on their style too like the way they're showing up like mm. fully is um is what's really really exciting for me 
Yes. And that's been amazing to like witness you get clear and witness you get more confident and witness you like stepping into what your like soul's calling you to do instead of like the traditional like, oh, well, this is what a style push person should do. This is kind of what they're offering and like to really own it and be like, this is what my soul is calling me to do. And I get to put all my favorite pieces together. And those are going to be the favorite pieces of my soul clients. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love that because, you know, I think it's kind of like you talked about comparison too. It's very easy to, for, for me to get stuck in the, like, it should look like this. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's part of, for me, like the, the layer of the onion of like, but I don't like that part. Right. And I don't, I don't desire to do that part. And my intention is to, you know, work with what I love to do with my clients. And so this is how it's going to look. And that's okay, because that's actually what you're meant to do. And so if I can release all those other shoulds and have tos, right, like, and Mm. step into what feels really good for me, um, that magnetizes my clients more, right? And did, and, and I did after then, you know, after the seven week program, the three month program, you know, mm-hmm. called in a super soulmate client who I am yes. loving mm-hmm. my time with, you know, and so, and, and we are working on something that I created, uh, in, in your group. So, um, that I didn't, that I didn't have before at all. So, mm-hmm. and she's, oh, okay. she's loving it too. So. <laughs> I yeah. love that. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's so good. I love when like my clients have amazing client testimonials when they're, they're like, it's my soul work and I get so lit up doing it and they love doing it and they're so grateful doing it. Like that's the best feeling. So I love Oh my that. gosh. The best. I mean, our second call, she was like, thank you for doing this work. Like you're helping me so much already. And I was like mm. crying, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's our, our second call. Like, <laughs> thank you, you know? So, I mean, that is so wonderful. Mm, I love that. And I'm totally going to highlight for like anyone watching that, like, this is what inspired action looks like, like yeah. you're tuning into your soul and trusting yourself and going deeper. So do you want to share a little bit about that journey as well? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, and for me, I think maybe that is what, what I was able to understand and to see is like some of the other things weren't working because they were the, the should be, should do this program. Right. And, yeah. and then when I was like, oh, okay, this, this feels interesting. This, like, there's something about this that I'm liking. And, um, mm-hmm. and, and, and that's when people come to me, right. Instead of me, like having this super masculine push so hard, you know, just Groundhog's Day, like mm-hmm. going, going nowhere in the same direction, right? Right. Being on a Peloton, I don't have one, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, you know, and, you know, and then, you know, I was, um, you know, talking to a friend who, you know, is an entrepreneur and struggling in business and, mm. you know, wanting to give up and, then creating a program around that. And now we're working together. And, you know, I stayed up half the night, like writing the program because it was so exciting for me to, because I could identify these, you know, just some of the words, like, like what you talk about, right? The energetics of like, oh, well, of course that's not going to work because that's the narrative you have. Right. And like coupling that with the, the action, the conscious action steps, but shifting those that those mindset pieces and things like that, like that's what will, you know, make a difference in, in your business so that you don't have to give up on your dreams and, uh, you know, can actually make the difference in the world that you're here, you're here for. Right. Mm. Just like me, just like you. Yes. Oh, I love that so much. And also to like highlight for other people, like there's a whole module on inspired action. There's a whole module on like masculine and feminine energy and going deeper into that. And I use masculine and feminine because that's what a lot of the people who are attracted into my world just have as like beginning pieces of like, oh, well, masculine is like the go, 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 do, 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 produce, produce, produce. You can also use yin and yang energy if that's like more supportive for you and like your belief system around all those things. And it's not like masculine is male energy, male energy only, feminine is female and female energy only. Like it's important to be in our masculines in our business when we're launching things, when we're creating things and to use all of that masculine framework and structure and support to let our inspired action come through to move in our divine feminine flow. And to like, I really 
appreciate the like verbiage of harmonizing it because it's not a balance it's not like you have to be 50 50 or like it always has to be the same stagnant thing where it's like I get the best experience 90 percent of the time when I'm like 40 percent feminine 50 percent or 60 percent masculine like it gets to be a harmony it gets to move and flow and change minute by minute so it can be like super feminine flowy in your creative process and figuring things out and downloading amazing content and downloading the program when you stayed up half the night and then being like, <laughs> how do I get to co-create this into the structure and like writing out your packages and having it in a way that you're clearly communicating it to the rest of the world, having the structure of like, how am I receiving money? How am I like setting it up so that I can like get pay in fulls or installments over time? And like those yes. important masculine pieces that really support the like divine feminine and it's also been like super fun to like go deeper and deeper and deeper into that with my clients because I feel like there is a really like big gap with people who are just in their masculine energy of doing the same thing and like that cookie cutter mold that you were talking about being like I was doing these same things I was doing this and I was told to do this and I was doing this and this is what I was trying so hard to do and it's like there's resistance there and it like isn't going to work. Like doing the same thing over and over and over again, that's not working is literally like the definition of what insanity is. It's like, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Pushing yourself, burning yourself out. Like, especially the women entrepreneurs that attract into my world who do feel a lot more called at a soul level to like deep dive into their feminine and reharmonizing their masculine with their feminine. Like it can be so powerful to do that work. So thank you for like highlighting that. I appreciate it. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Mm, So good. Okay. Let's talk about like some of the pieces that you did with like dream life list, be do have list, attracting like higher caliber men and like all the things that you're desiring. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, So I did create my, my dream life list, my be do have list, like really wrote out all of those things and with your help, like energetically, like tweak them as well. Uh, which was also super helpful and uh, recorded myself also saying them and listened to that. Yeah. And, uh, and now have uh, a, just like a, I mean, like I can, I have a super clear vision of my life heading back to San Diego in a couple of weeks and uh, that I've been creating in, you know, with this list for the last couple months and, and can feel it, you know, like feel what that looks like in the home that I'm creating and the man that I'm going to be with and like what, what that's like. And yeah, definitely calling in uh, higher caliber men, you know, having like one of the best dates that I had in a really long time, yeah. even in COVID, right? Like, mm. um, you know, during our time together, in addition to this soulmate client and, uh, and yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. And like, it's so important for us to take that time to do it. And then I love that you like mentioned the tweaks because there's been so many times in my life where I'm like, I've called things in and then I'm like, oh, this is like my upgraded, like version 3.0 version of the list. Cause I called in some things that I wasn't actually as clear on. Um, so like, I know one thing for you was like, I want to have a partner and like, these are the things that I want and you stepping up your standards to be like, I will have a partner that we have our first children together. And like, this is a standard and I'm not going to be like, oh, well, because of excuses, age, time, fill in the blank things, I'll have to settle for this. And having that as the get-go of like settling on your ideal dream life list. (laughs) I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. Because, and like with your help, I actually did create it, right? Like, because it does take a little bit of time and it's just like, so easy to not do and so like having your support of knowing that you are going to review it and 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 also like live it with me was super really cool to to just get on board with like that co-creation of it Mm -hmm. and then uh yeah because you know if I want to listen to all of the world around me right like of you're too old, you're too this, oh you still want kids like oh you still Mm -hmm. want that like hmm, like that's not really, you know, don't you see, like, that's not for you anymore or, or whatever that looks like. And it's like, you know, I don't, those are the things that you know, are outside of myself and I don't believe, right. And creating this list is, 
is what I believe and just feeling into, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even like your dream home, like it just feels so <laughs> good. Like it was so in alignment and like, it just feels good when it's in alignment with people. Like it's kind of a superpower of mine to be like, when there's words out of alignment, it's like, it's like a bright neon sign. And those two millimeter shifts will call in exactly what you're desiring. Cause sometimes from the limiting belief systems that we have right now in this version of ourselves, we can kind of like sort of say, and we get it from other like human language, what you're trying to say, but the universe is super clear. Like the universe will bring you what you ask for. And I've had so many experiences of that personally with my clients and all the things. And it's like way easier to course correct at the beginning when you're co-creating it with the universe than being like, oh, I got it exactly how I wanted it. That's not how I exactly wanted it. Oops, not, I know I said that, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like contrast and having to like go through it. And it's like, I've gotten like detailed lists. Like I've written out like 11 pages and gotten like all the things except for like teeny tiny minute, minute, minute little things. Then I'm like, oh yeah, like writing monogamous in a deeply devotional partnership, like yeah. was a priority for me. And I'm like, cool. Now I like share that with other women who are single who like want to co-create that. <laughs> Uh, yes, absolutely. That mm -hmm. is very important and lives where I desire to be as yeah. well. And, and mm -hmm. little things like that, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. So, so, so good. I love it. Um, and how is being in a group setting? Like in to anyone who's watching, who's like, well, I think I have to do this, like only personal, private one-on-one. -on -one, and that's the only way to do these things. Like how, and I know you were talking about like the community, but how was that supportive? And how did that feel for you to be in a group setting? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was, it was exactly what I needed. And, you know, being in a group with entrepreneurs who were about my level or a little above, like kind of where I am in my business or like another, like maybe one or two steps ahead instead of like mm -hmm. 20 was really supportive. And, you know, whenever we were on our group calls, I felt like, you know, even if I wasn't sure what sort of question I had or what I wanted to bring up someone else would bring up something that was just basically on my mind that I didn't even verbalize yet and mm. uh, like everything was perfect timing and the modules like I mean they, they really were and so and then what someone would ask in the group like was something usually if I didn't ask something somebody else would and so mm. it really felt like I mean, we're, it just felt like we we're on the, a very similar page, a very similar wavelength. And, and I, and I know that I hear that a lot with you, Laura, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, that happens for you and, and with the people that you work with and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's and like little soul families that like everyone's energy just attracts together and like the most beautiful groups get co-created. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it, it, it was, there were two, I mean, it was in the seven week and in the three month, like, I mean, it happened both times. So mm -hmm. it wasn't, there are no coincidences. So, yeah. Yes. Mm, so yeah. good. Okay. And I'm totally looking over a list of like all the things we wanted to talk about. So did you want to share a little bit about how the grieving ceremony was supported for you? Like, that's also something I kind of just like threw in as a bonus. Cause I'm like, this is what the people need. And I love sharing that with like other people to the public. It's like, I love supporting my clients with exactly where they're at and like what was coming up. So it was very interesting that in both containers, like people really had to let go of the old version of themselves. And like, especially with like end of 2020 happening, it's like, we need to let go of previous skin. It's like, if you're a snake, you need to shed that old skin to grow into the new one, to like be the butterfly, to like come out of the chrysalis and be like, I'm here and I've created this space. Did you want to share a teeny bit about that too? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, you say something right too, where it's like, if I have a you know, a full glass of water, like a camp for the new, fresh, like wonderful things, wonderful water in. That's yes, it's like literally like, space wow. like you <laughs> can't put a new, like I can put coffee in here because that's just going to be super diluted, like emptying this, creating the space and I can put something else or a smoothie or whatever in there. It's how literally science works and how energetic space works too. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's, you know, for me, I felt like you know, sitting in a bit of that confusion and sort of what to do next and mm -hmm. kind of also, you know, this life I've been living and, and what do I want, you know, what do I desire next and knowing what that looks like and yet not getting there and uh, doing the grieving ceremony, I was helpful because, I mean, it was, again, you know, it was a little tough, but it was yeah. uh, exactly what I needed. And uh, 
it was that pouring out right of then allowing allowing soulmate client uh, clients allowing uh these new ideas and inspired action for my business of things of like what could come like didn't happen until until after I did that grieving ceremony Mm -hmm. yeah and like thank you for also sharing that it's hard because like not all of this is easy like we signed up anyone who's watching this too like you're a spiritual entrepreneur on this planet at a time where like this work is imperative and so valuable and so powerful and going into like the depths of our feelings, the depths of our limiting belief systems. Like it's not all rainbows and love and light and like sunshine and all the things like I'm the joyful goddess and I'm all about ease, peace, grace, joy, and love and like having a stake in the ground and a new paradigm shift for this and like letting go of learning things through pain and hardship and suffering. And it would literally be spiritual bypassing if we're just like, we can be super happy and joyful 100% of the time, 24-7 all the time. That's how we like do awesome in our businesses. It's like, no, like sometimes it's hard and we have to let go. And it feels like we're breaking up with old clients or our old client avatars and like letting go of the old pieces that we used to like in our business and creating new standards and new ways of being. Like it can be really hard sometimes. And it's important yeah. to like let ourselves grieve it and like cry and feel the emotions and let it move through us. Like emotions need to move. So I also appreciate you like being so vulnerable and sharing like on calls and stuff like that. It was always just so amazing to see where you're at and where your heart is and like you really doing this work and showing up to like really be that change, like really embody it and do the work at a deep level and not just be like, okay, well, I'm like checking boxes off. You like showed up to do the work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, and feel so good to move through it. Right. Mm-hmm. And to see, like, to, to also identify after that grieving ceremony, like, holy shit, like I do not, like, I am ready to let go of all of those things that are not serving me because there, there were, there were a bunch and, um, and to say like, okay, this is who I'm stepping into without, you know, and saying goodbye to like those parts. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And a huge thing, like even on the masterclass that like you were on the first time when like I did a hot seat version of it and you had like the pain in your shoulder and like all of that, like it was really powerful to see you like show up to do that. And like, I know we were talking a little bit about like the body box clearing and like, I leave it open. Like I totally do exactly what my clients need. And it's super fun to tune into several energies at once and be like everyone who's live and on the replay, like these are the specific places you get to go with it. And I know that like, for example, we specifically focus on visibility with throat chakra blocks, but it's also like throat chakra and like whatever's coming up in your body right now so like I know that you spent some time specifically focusing on clearing off those layers did you want to share some of of that too oh yeah yeah absolutely I mean I did you know for me like yeah I had a chronic shoulder issue and yeah and I think the the throat chakra like those were kind of my two kind of main blocks Mm -hmm. and you know do and so doing you know having your clearings I think uh, had been super helpful, you know, with the shoulder. I also did some, you know, human PT things. And so, and though my, my belief is that without the energy piece, it would not have healed the way it is today. Like it's, I am so freaking grateful that like I have full range of motion in my shoulder again. I never, I didn't know if that was like going to be possible, you know? And so, you know, being able to have like the energy moving, (laughs) you know, throughout my body, like is so important. And yeah. And like showing up and clearing, clearing the throat stuff, because, uh, you know, I keep continuing to do that, like to show up Mm -hmm. authentically. uh, And, and, and it's, you know, it's something that, you know, I started in this work with you that I haven't really been doing before. So yeah. It's been cool. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, I'm glad that you also mentioned like doing the human things. Cause it's not just one. And it's like, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to claim that I ever like help people with things. It's like, yeah, Reiki and all of our different healing modalities, they have like amazing things. We're not going to like say, Hey, I help people do these things, but it is, it like manifests outside in our like energetic field first. And then the heavier it is and the more we ignore it and the more that it like needs to get worked on it'll come and be louder and then it'll like be a slight nudge and then like a little bit like of a shove and then like a two by four like a mac truck and it's like 
it's so important that when we start getting that dis-ease within our bodies that we do that work both energetically and physically because it's not going to go away with just one it needs to be a holistic approach in my personal opinion with a disclaimer of like not diagnosing things not helping people <laughs> doing all the things yeah. but also personal stories of like oh yeah like that space is now existing in my shoulder where it wasn't before yeah with all this work and and i think also you know getting more clarity and showing up in the way that is more authentic and it, it's you know the masculine right side and that sort of go 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 and push and having the weight of the shoulds right and those are you know, with work, like disintegrating, uh, it feels so much better. Mm. Oh, I love that. That's so, so, so good. And also tuning into some of the stuff that we talked about before. Um, I love how you mentioned like in your testimonial, how like you really felt that even in the group setting, like I was there for you and supported your business and cared about that. And that's something that is really important for me, like as a business owner is supporting the other people in my world. Cause I've also been in containers where I felt like a number and that it's actually not that important, but someone just like got money from me and like made some fake promises at the beginning. And the other just like, cool, everyone's going to like make a bunch of money here. Like, bye. And like, kind of like <laughs> check out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I think like that was so powerful for me and so uh, supportive and so just kind that, you know, you were thinking of me and my business, like, you know, outside of not, outside, I mean, like just within the group, but outside of the group and giving me suggestions of like, Hey, like I know someone that would be great for you to talk to. Like, would you like to get connected with them? Because I think that they could help you in your business in a networking way and help you, you know, with, with clients. And, and I did that. And that was, um, I mean, that, that just like meant so much to me. So like, thank you. Yeah. It's, um, so supportive and, and does help me feel like, you know, you're, you know, you want, you, you're there, you're a partner with me, right? Like you are in it with me to help me in my business not not just like okay well we're just in this container so i'm not gonna kind of go outside of it right like mm -hmm. it was uh all encompassing which i just really really it was really special so thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome my pleasure and yeah like i love running with people like when you're running you're running when you're like oh there's deeper stuff coming up cool i'm there with you and we're slowing down and we're like dealing with emotions coming through and like holding space for that to also have its space but that was like a huge shift in my business years ago to be like i don't pull people like i'm not gonna be like hey guys come to the call hey guys come to the call hey guys come to the call like the people that i draw into my world like show up to the calls and do their homework and do the work that they're inspired to do and they get results from it like that was amazing to see that like i was just called to literally do what i had been doing with a bunch of private clients over about two years and like co-create this like intensive seven week experience and to see like all of you lovely ladies who showed up and came to the calls and said yes to the hearings and healings and clearings and literally like showed up and did the homework and posted in the group and asked for feedback for the things that you wanted and like we also had someone who like was like I didn't do much of my homework but I hit my 5k goal because like these were the exact pieces I needed then like the gold nuggets I needed to take from that like those people got their return on investment which is why I'm like I feel so called and that's why I've been doing all these client case studies because I'm like it literally has been everyone who set their intention for their goals, like showed up and got to those places because they did the work. Yeah. And it's been amazing to like see you guys thrive and to also like really be like, I can take a stand for this course as a digital program by itself. And also in like the live container with group calls and all the different content that'll also flow through from hot seats and all those kind of things. It's like yeah. exactly what my people need, which has been like powerful to take a stand for and then share with all the beautiful people who are watching. <laughs> I love it, absolutely. Awesome. So what were some of your objections like before you came into my world, before the seven week container of like nervousness, energy, anything coming up? What were some of the objections that your like human brain had before stepping into this? Money, money, money. And for me, time, because uh, I do have uh, a full time job. And mm. so, you know, like, when am I going to have time for all these, you know, extra calls or, you know, what's the homework kind of thing. And so, I mean, and with the money, you know, I, I had a, you know, I made 
more than my investment in the program. So Mm -hmm. that's the money, right? (laughs) Like, I mean, and, and the time, you know, uh, the calls were in the evening for me and I had another call after the call. And so I would always have to hop off. And, uh, and that was a, that was probably an objection I had. Well, Hey, I've got this sort of other call and, Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that turned out to, to not even be a thing. And I was so excited actually to be on the calls that I actually kind of didn't really want to go to my next <laughs> call. And it was easy because you would post the calls right after the call. So at night before I would go to bed that I would do it in the same night. I would just listen yeah. uh, to the rest of the call that I had missed, which are usually, um, you know, in a lot of clearings and things that were exactly what I needed. And, you know, I, it was just, so now that all of the objections were um, sort of null at the end, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And I love that because sometimes people are like, well, I can't make these two or three live calls or like, I'm only going to be able to come to part of it and stuff like that. And I understand that like life happens. And I also literally have on the sales page, like if you have any questions and you know, you're not going to be able to come to these calls, like send me an email, be like, I need this to get like cleared. This is something coming up for me. And other people send those kind of things too. And it's like, cool. So these are the themes that we're going to go into when it's open for the hot seat. These are the specific concerns or issues or like questions that were coming up for people. And that gets addressed as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, there was nothing that I didn't have covered that I wanted. So mm-hmm. yeah. Plus the whole like zoom to Facebook stream became super easy. And I'm like, oh yeah, I can like literally stream it to Facebook in the private group. So it would be like there instantly, like as soon as the broadcast ended, the replay would be up. It's also on the membership site, which you have longer than just the seven week container. Which I love too, because I love YouTube because I got premium. And so I can just like Mm. play that. And so that's what I would do too. So I would get on the membership site. It was just, it was easy and Mm. and it worked really well for me. Yeah. Even not being there live every week, you know, part of it. So. Yes. Awesome. I love it. Awesome. I'm like, we talked about so many things so you want to speak <laughs> a little bit into like the standards as well and like new boundaries and like some of the shifts that you had in that journey from July. Uh-huh. To now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, for me, just getting, getting more clarity on the clients that, that I'll call, that I'm calling in and the clients mm-hmm. I'm taking and the clients I'm not taking. Right. And it's like, you know, having sales calls and understanding that, you know, energetically, like, if you're a fit for me and if I'm a fit for you and like how that's working and and I have new standards for that now. And yeah, and that is a boundary, right? And it's, um, you know, just to ensure that, that we are really like, we are, that our, that our souls are aligning in a fit for moving forward to do this work together. It's not, you know, it's, it's for the, I don't know if it's uh, the word isn't the right person, but the aligned person, right? The person who is ready, because like you said, right? Like this, the work that I do with clients, like is a bit of work as well, right? And so it's really not for quick fix sort of situations. It's it's a bit for, you know, more for a deeper dive, a transformation from the inside out, you know, so that you'll you can feel better. And and that's not always what everyone wants. And so understanding that though for myself I didn't know that before right and so and now I do (laughs) so more ease moving forward which I mean who doesn't want more ease in their lives right Mm -hmm. so good so what would you say to someone who is like on the fence who's been seeing me like do master classes and looking at the course and being like okay there's all these modules and it would support me what would you say to someone who's been like considering this and is feeling called to this yeah I mean it was it it just helped me shift so much uh, with your support. And again, just having uh, access to the bonus materials was like super awesome. And, and, and the seven week course, of course, and to the point where, you know, I wanted more, you know, so Mm -hmm. for me, it it didn't, it didn't end at seven weeks. Like it actually, uh, you know, helped me so much that I was ready to take the next steps with you, which was Mm -hmm. also super helpful and supportive. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I would definitely, I mean, this is, it's kind of a no brainer, I feel like, uh, (laughs) honestly. So, Mm -hmm. uh, I would say yes. Right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I would do it again. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. I love that. Such, such, such good news to hear. I love it. 
Um, I'll just go into a little bit of downloads for anyone who is like, okay, this has brought like ahas and awarenesses and insights. And I'm seeing some of the gaps in my things and like wanting to just like get some quick gaps closed a little bit. So do you guys want to clear release and let go of any and all old hardships, struggle stories, or scarcity belief systems that have been holding you back from truly increasing your impact and income in the world to allow yourself the spaciousness to expand. And if you'd like that, you can say yeah. And do you want to know who you are and what your life looks like? Being able to receive and call in and really be the embodiment of the leader who magnetizes with ease your soulmate ideal clients that you can allow yourself to be visible to them, that you can communicate in languaging in ways that allow you to be seen for your authentic self with them, and that you can allow yourself deeper permission to invite them into your world, to enroll them into your private programs or packages and containers in ways that feel good for both you and them. And if you'd like that, you can say yeah. And do you, know what, do you want to know what your life looks like and feels like with that, that you can incorporate new standards, new boundaries, that you can move in your own unique inspired action steps to co-create that into your world and that you're worthy and deserving of this. And if you'd like that, you can say yeah. And do you want to clear release and let go of any and all old negative energy, shame, or guilt around doing things the hard way? around it not working before, around having launches that didn't work or sales calls that didn't convert, things that had like been weighing on you of like, I'm a failure, this isn't working for me, what's wrong with me, that you can just clear release and let go of all of that old energy now. And if you'd like that, you can say yeah. And you wanna give yourself permission to show up and do this work, to clear your money blocks, to see what you haven't seen before, to be aware of the gaps that are currently showing up in your world so that you can move in your own unique inspired action steps of how to move forward without having like the shoulds or the comparison or the judgment of what other people are doing or what their lane is and what their stories are of how they've gotten from A to Z. But you can allow yourself to go on your own unique journey that will support you in getting to your A to Z end goal with ease, speed, grace, joy, and love and that you can mark any and all lessons as complete that weren't in alignment with that as complete so you have the freedom to move forward with that ease. And if you'd like that, you can say yeah. And then we can integrate all of those changes. And I can offer you a general healing for any and all other areas of your body, life, and business that are ready to be healed right now. And fill you up with your higher powers, unconditional love, compassion, peace, and prosperity. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And take some deep cleansing breaths. If you want to like stretch out and create new space, you can also do that, especially like heart, shoulders, open expansions of energy, whatever's feeling good for your body. Mm, if you want to pop in the chat how that's feeling, or Kelly, if you want to share how you're feeling, you can totally do that too. Awesome, open, ready <laughs> to receive. Mm, so, so, so good. And also be hydrated for like all clearings and healings. It's so good to support your body with water and help clear that out. So I also have an invitation for anyone who is like so called to this, who has seen themselves in Kelly's stories or any of the other stories that I've been sharing this week and last week around like really moving forward to increase your impact and income like this container was literally created to do this work it's a six-week container there's like seven weeks of it before and I'm kind of like it was like seven weeks plus like it happened like we launched it right when like Black Lives Matter happened so I'm like everyone who had gotten in before got bonus material so I was like okay cool like we're extending the container because I didn't want to like be launching in like a heavy launch mode when all of that amazing change was happening in the world so then I was like okay cool so it kind of like became longer of a program but there are those six like specific modules and how it's going to work in the second round is that you can watch the module content from before. So if you join right now, you get all the content right now. You could choose to binge watch it if you want to, or you can do the thing where you like watch the module and then come to the call to go even deeper to be like, okay, cool. I have these lessons now. I've cleared off these top layers and now I can go even deeper 
and to the clearings and receive even more from it. So I'm really excited to go even deeper into all of these subconscious limiting beliefs that hold so many light workers and healers back so that they can really show up and just like shine their light in 2021. And like the world needs this. Like we have seen in 2020, like how much dis-ease and separation and hardship is happening in the world right now and how much we can really just be the change for shining your light. So we'll go into specific modules around visibility, shining your light, like being bigger in the world instead of playing small or constricting, clearing your throat chakra stuff. Like that's a huge part of module one. And then going into like the unhealthy money mindset that you might be having right now and developing new healthy habits and amazing clearings in there that just like release and let go of like the ways you've been programmed like our subconscious is literally like from when we were children and sponges and from other people around us that don't serve us so it's so amazing to look at those things and just be like okay I can clear that and I don't have to like bring it all up to the surface and mine through every single needle in the haystack it's like you can just release it and allow yourself to trust your body's process of releasing the old energy that got suppressed, that got trapped, that doesn't need to be looked at in a million and two ways. You can just release it and let it go with ease, going deeper into those inspired action steps, a whole module on like really moving into your harmonization of masculine feminine energy, going deeper into like boundaries, your next level standards, the conscious 3D work that's like peppered in throughout the whole thing of like templates. And we didn't even get into that where it's like, yeah, there's like simple templates that, I'm, that uh, Kelly was telling me before where it's like, it literally gives you the simple pieces, which I think is super important because unfortunately there is that missing piece in some like creatives, light workers, heart-centered people who don't have the like money mindset thing of like cash is king and like cash needs to flow through. And we need to understand the difference between a cash sales month that's 5k and like a sales month that's 5k. Cause it's like, if you have a 5k sales month, but you only brought in 1k cash and you have like 3k expenses, that's not really supportive. You need to be like supporting your business so that it is a foundation and it is growing. And that's also something I used to take like totally for granted that my parents were entrepreneurs and accountants. And then I became an accountant. So like, I just have those natural skills. So I created on like the fly. I was like, oh, this is coming up for you guys. Let's make more templates. So now all those templates are like already in the program where you can just go in and get what you need and understand it really simply. It's not like super complicated and a million and two things. It's like, this is what will support you and just moving forward. So all of those pieces are in the amazing increase your impact and income course. I'm super excited to be offering it again, especially for people who are like, I know I'm here to do more. Like my soul's calling me to do more in the world. And I know that I could create a bigger impact. And I know there's just like these things that are holding me back. And when I am free from that, then I'll have the freedom to like help other people heal and get free. And like, I just love those like ripples of change. Like it's one of my favorite things to see my clients' client testimonials of like, oh my gosh, like them showing up and doing that like free offering or Facebook live or anything like them showing up more, them doing their work in the world affected more souls and affected more souls. And just like the ripple effects of that is amazing. So we'll pop the link um, in the comments of that like right after we get off live. So you guys can choose to look into that. There's also an extended payment plan. Like we start next Monday. So I start to like, be like, there's an extended payment plan. Like I don't want money to be the objection that holds you back from this. Like you can literally choose to trust yourself. And it was really amazing because i made a post last night, I think of um, the beautiful soul who's like, I'm trusting myself. I'm doing this. And they hit their 5k goal. Like they were like, I don't know if I should do this. And then it was just so in alignment with them. And when you trust yourself, you get that return on investment. Like I can't guarantee things and I don't guarantee that, Hey, like you're for sure going to make money in this. Cause no one can promise you that things are going to work for you because it's an investment, but I can say and share. And that's what I've been loving sharing that all of my clients who showed up live to the calls, who did the homework that they were called to do made their investment back return on investment within the container, like within the six, seven week period. And like, that's huge. And that was something that I didn't want to like put myself or like have the hat of like a business coach in any way or like business energetics. Cause I was like, I've been burnt in the past by other business coaches who were like, for sure, like you doing this is like a hundred percent going to get you here. And then it's just like felt icky and gross and bad having like them promised me in like private sales calls that I was totally going to make money and then it not working. So that's why I've created such like smooth, effective, deep, powerful work in this container so that you can have the impact that you're desiring from it. And you can literally set your intention for what you desire because people like 
had the intention to show up more, they showed up more, had the intention to have their first 2K month, 3K month, 5K month, and they showed up and they did the things, had the intention to sell their highest package, like whatever you desire as your next step. I'm like so excited to support you in getting there. So I wanted to share that if you're feeling called to it, I'm super excited for all the amazing souls who are feeling called. And thank you so much, Kelly, for sharing your experience with the seven week container with also the three month and just seating awesome like that things as well. I appreciate you for like coming on live and being so vulnerable with some of the things that like you went through and you like being here to help other people and being the light for them as well. Thank you, Laura. So happy to do it. You're welcome. Mm, thank you thank you thank you and thank you guys for showing up live for following your inspired action for like doing this work in the world like being a light worker a coach a healer a mentor right now is like such important work so thank you so much for doing your work in the world for being the change in your amazing world and thank you also for like showing up here and I love engaging with you guys so you can share what like your insights your nuggets were if you have a friend who you're like oh my gosh this would totally inspire them and support them I definitely encourage you to share it with them post it on your wall like copy and paste the link to them privately whatever way you feel called to sharing it and and I'm wishing you guys all such an amazing holiday season. It's been like so fun to do these. And I'm sending you guys all so, so, so much love and light. Bye.